Hi Taurus, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Let's see what messages we've got for you today. So messages for Taurus, please. What is it they need to know for their highest good? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And like the video if you enjoy the reading. Okay, we're starting off with the Eight of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay. So let's begin. The Eight of Swords is all about feeling trapped. It's the dark caverns of your mind and you're finding your, your way through this. You're finding your way to freedom again. So you're feeling quite trapped in something and it's in the thoughts that you have. But there is a way out of this. Okay. Then we have the Ace of Wands. So you have finally freed yourself from this. There is a brand new beginning available to you with the Ace of Wands. It is all about getting that fire back in you. It's a brand new spark of inspiration that's come to you. So really beautiful energies. There's a huge transformation that's happening with you here. And you freeing yourself from this darkness that you've been in. This feeling of being trapped and not being able to move forward. Suddenly the spark of inspiration comes to you. You're feeling freed from this Eight of Swords and you are able to fly again like the butterfly. So this could be moving forward with a creative project of some kind, a business endeavor, just feeling like you have got that inspiration in you again to start something new. Then we have the Ten of Wands. And this is lovely in the reverse because upright, this is feeling quite burdened, overburdened by things. And in the reverse, you are letting go of this heavy burden that you've been carrying. So there's a beautiful sense of freedom coming through here for you guys. So I really, really like this. So let's get some more cards for you. What else do our Taurus Collective need to know, please? Nine of Pentacles. So this is independence. This is financial independence coming to you. So this is material satisfaction. You finally reached a milestone where you are financially independent in your life. You've achieved something here. This is a lot of success that you've achieved in your life financially. Okay, so you're at a wonderful position now that you have let go of these burdens that you are carrying. Okay, so beautiful there. King of Wands. So this again is a beautiful, powerful energy that you're in. You could be an entrepreneur, the leader of your own business. This is a really strong magnetic energy. He's also very creative. So coming under the Ace of Wands, this could be a new idea in the creative field or a business idea perhaps that's going to lead to a lot of abundance in your life. And it's something brand new where you are taking the bull by the horns and you are really fired up to get this new idea going. I've got the page of wands coming out, so underneath the deck. So this again is a really excited energy. It's another fiery energy. So after being in this darkness, you are freeing yourself and you're getting the excitement back in your life. So extremely creative energy again and feeling that sense of freedom where perhaps you were once feeling trapped. It's a burst of energy here. Then we have the Six of Pentacles. So this could be a lump sum of money coming in for you. So money coming in for you from this new business idea, once you free yourself 
and get this beautiful inspiration and let down your burdens, this heavy burden that you've been carrying, you are going to achieve this financial independence. You're going to get money in from it and you're going to feel really fired up by this. You are a natural born leader, Taurus. So let's see what else we can get for you. Really nice fiery energy coming through. That's going to bring in a lot of abundance. I'm just seeing a lot of freedom here. So we've got the seven of wands in the reverse. So it's like you are coming out of this bubble where you have wanted to spend time alone and perhaps to heal something in your life. And now you are coming back out into the world and able to handle all the things that are coming at you and feeling really fired up and inspired about doing all these things. You are putting in the work day by day, planting those seeds so that you eventually get to your goal of financial independence. And being the knight, he is very close to being the king of pentacles. And he always gets to his goal. So even if things are feeling a bit slow, he is going to get to his goal of financial gain. You're coming out of the sense of worry as well. And uh, all the things that have been worrying you and giving you tension, this feeling of being trapped is now being freed. So really nice. You're feeling free from all the stress and you're getting back this beautiful excitement in your life. Burdens are being lifted from you. You're coming out of this dark place, perhaps a place of feeling alone, and you're really putting in a lot of effort. You are this natural born leader and it's really bringing a lot of excitement and enthusiasm into your life this burst of energy, putting in your work day by day, and it's letting go of these stresses that you have. You've got the strength card. So you have got the strength to get through whatever this is. You are strong here like the lion. We've got the lion in the king of wands as well. So you really are strong here and you're a strong leader and you can put this idea into action. Nine of Wands in reverse. So this is also very similar to the Seven of Wands and you are letting go of these barriers that you've had in your life that you've been putting up. You're letting go of old stories and old battles so that you can finish what you have started here. Not being so closed off with all these boundaries. So you're not trapped in your own boundaries, which is what was going on there, this feeling of being trapped. There's such a sense of freedom from all the stress and being trapped and putting up these boundaries that have kept you trapped, letting go of all these old stories in your life and really starting fresh and getting your power and excitement back. This is going to bring you a lot of financial abundance. Okay, so where once things were feeling really slow, things are going to pick up really, really quickly. This could be a message coming in for you. It's going to come in very, very fast, perhaps even unexpectedly. And things are going to move forward really quickly for you. Ten of Swords in Reverse. So this is the end of a difficult situation where you've perhaps felt like you've been stabbed in the back, some form of despair. You are now letting go. All the swords are falling out of you. So this again is letting go of hurt, betrayal and really taking charge of your life, starting fresh. Letting go of old hurts and old stories, old patterns. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune. 
So the wheel is turning in your favor. I mean, this is a beautiful energy where things have felt really bad in your life and really dark in your life. Things are changing at a rapid rate here for you. The wheel of fortune is luck. It is your fortune changing here. So money coming in for you. Your finances looking really good. And there is a really big change happening in your life for the better. So I really like this for you. This is absolutely beautiful. You are coming out of this darkness and just getting this fiery passion back into you. Things are changing drastically for you at a rapid rate. You're letting go of all these old stories, old stresses, old burdens. Your finances can now come in for you. And you are a strong leader who can put this idea into action. And there's a lot of excitement around this now. It's not as stressful. You've put in the work. You've put in the hard work. And now things are going to move really, really quickly for you. So this reading is really beautiful for you. Let's take an angel card now. So freeing yourself and taking charge of a situation. So this could be your business that you're taking charge of, getting some inspirational ideas and really putting them into action. And just huge changes for the better coming in for you. Okay, you've got be willing to forgive. Ask the angels to clear your mind and body of past pain in exchange for peacefulness. Okay, so not staying in that darkness, not putting your boundaries up anymore. You are a lot more peaceful. You are letting go of all these past hurts and things and forgiving those so that you can let go of the burden. Okay, it's not for the other person. It's so that you can free yourself so you don't have to hang on to all these old hurts. Base Chakra. Choose only positive thoughts to describe your home, your career, and your finances as your words determine your outcome. So again, don't get trapped in these old stories, these words from others perhaps. And being the base chakra, this is also all your physical stuff. So your money and that sort of thing. Once you clear that, money comes in. So positivity here. Okay, so cut your cords. This is another one. Letting go of all these past things. So ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear that stem from past relationships, freeing you from any destructive patterns. And this Ten of Swords being in the reverse, are those, these are the destructive patterns that you are freeing yourself from. Okay, so really lovely energies. There is this need to clear yourself and let go of all these past hurts so that you can get the fire back in you, the excitement, the inspiration, and get things going, get this brand new idea going. And there is going to be this huge, massive, gorgeous change of fortune in your life. So let's get an Atlantis card now for you. Okay, you got the black mage. So change, which is the wheel of fortune. This card indicates the end of a cycle. In this plane of duality, situations and relationships inevitably end, making room for different experiences. It is time to watch your ego and purify yourself so that the new can be better than the old. Watch your ego as you prepare for change. So big change is coming in for you, as we said. Let's get a color card now.
Okay, you got Blue Angel, you are safe. So let's read that one from the book. Right, Blue Angel. Lately, you have been feeling unsafe and vulnerable. Remember that you are part of the allness, part of the energy that is creation. It is all one. Nothing exists that is not of the same source of energy. If we feel fear that something or someone will hurt us, we are saying that we fear creation itself. There is nothing to fear. No one wants to hurt you. However, based on your inherited cellular programming, your fears will feel real and your co-creating powers can use those fears to manifest situations where you may feel vulnerable. While you are learning about your creative power and to manifest only positive experiences, you are protected by the angelic realms. You will stay protected and safe until you have released those patterns from your cells and you have no further need to create fearful situations in your life. So that's exactly what we've been saying. So call on this blue angel to protect every aspect of your life and help you release fearful thoughts. So we've also got Archangel Michael coming through, very much a protective energy that you can call on as well. So let's get a healing card now for you to finish off this reading. Right, to be sure of the road, close your eyes and walk in the dark. Spiritu spiritually closing your eyes permits heaven to enact the most wonderful guidance in your life. Say the prayer, open a new road for me today and expect the unexpected. When it appears, accept the gift. So really nice because there is a brand new energy with that Ace of Wands coming through for you. That inspiration from the divine is coming through to you that is enabling you to have a new start. So beautiful, beautiful energy. I hope this has helped somebody. I hope this has resonated with you guys. Leave me a comment to let me know and hit the like button if you enjoyed the reading. It really does help our channel to grow and I'm sending you so much love. And I will hopefully see you again in the next one. Bye.